What is good, everybody? It's your boy Slint, aka Mr. Dip, your favorite fat boy producer with no hairline or no shape up. Back with another video today. I want to go back and take a look, another look at a feature inside of Nectar 3 Advance or Nectar 3 in general. Uh, in my video, I got something wrong in my video, and I, like I said, I'm not a perfect human being. I admit my faults and all that. I will go back and correct any mistakes I made. I'm not like these other YouTube content creators who are fake and don't be real and you know just kind of lead you down the wrong path. If I fuck up on something and I make a mistake, I will go back on my bullshit and I will correct it in a follow-up video or try to reintroduce it or you know answer it in comments and all that. And there was a feature that I did get wrong in Neutron 3 and I want to take a look at it because now I understand it a little bit better and that's just a little quick tip video. So today we're going to look at the sculpture function of Neutron 3 and I think I got a better understanding of what it's actually supposed to do because like I said, I mistaken that I thought it was to be able to sculpt your sound into another sound when really it's to help sculpt the sound into a better fit of the sound it is basically so that means if you have a guitar you want to make it sound more of a guitar not changing something as a pluck or anything that will lead into a guitar so let's go ahead and jump right into that right now and here we are inside fl studio i will be using the sculpture i'm using neutron neutron 3 advanced but like i say if you got neutron whatever and we're using the sculpture feature i'm gonna be using it on this sub 808 or this 808 sub and this is part of my third day beat challenge follow me on instagram twitter and soundcloud so you can keep up to date when i do that because i'm doing this every day and i will have a follow-up video talking about why i'm doing this also so do keep in line with that so here's the 808 by itself and if just in case you want to hear the full beat i'll just play that real quick it's unmixed or anything a little bit of a, a, a more bouncy type beat and i'm starting to find my sound a lot better too doing this third day beat challenge so i was just people do it but anyway here we are at the sculpture function like i said you have different type of instruments that you can sculpt and you know make better apparently so they have all purpose which is just all purpose no matter what it is bass guitar keys orchestral percussion and vocals and you pretty much select what your sound is so for this instance it is a bass and then you have three different fun <clears throat> excuse me and right here you have three different forms of sculpting. You have the sculpting, sculpting, sculpting. <laughs> so you have bass, deep bass, and sub bass. So this would be considered a sub bass. So I'll just click sub bass and then there you go. So what sculpture is gonna do is basically sculpt out the unwanted frequencies of that and only pretty much enhance the frequencies that make the sub bass what it is or make whatever instrument or every sound it really is. And that's what sculpting is. You can determine the, the I guess you would call it the What's that word? You know, the, the the area that you want to affect and stuff like that as well. Also, much how much sculpting and stuff like that as well. So, for example, here it is with no sculpting uh, enabled. And now I'm going to start bringing in the sculpture and we'll start sculpting this into a better sub 808 or sub bass. And you can see how it just enhances it. It cuts out all the unwanted frequencies or stuff that shouldn't be there or resonant frequencies, I'm guessing what it's doing. And it just makes it better. It just sculpts it. It makes it mm, ooey gooey. And then you can determine the tone and the speed. I guess the speed is how fast it will react to the unwanted frequencies. Uh, and the ballistic, they say the ballistic, so the frequencies that's doing. And the tone is basically, I guess, making it softer or dark, like making it brighter or darker. So we're gonna play around with that as well. So that's kind of that's kind of accentuating the lower and higher frequencies of it, and then the speed. Like I said, just gonna determine how fast it you know reacts. And then you can control the area of effect with it. That's here before and after. So before. And 
it, it really makes it sound more like a sub bass. Like it really does sculpt it into a actual sub bass, not just some synthesized, you know, sub. It really sounds like a legit sub bass. And I really do like that. And then in context with the actual beat, we'll do before and after again. So honestly, this is probably one of the best tools inside of Neutron 3, in my opinion, next to the actual tonal balance automatic mix assistant function. The sculpture uh, function is really dope and really useful. And it will help you get the sounds to where you want them to be actually and not sound like something completely different actually make them sound like what they're intended to sound like so i'm gonna have to explore more with this feature I, like I said i want to make a video going back into it because i said i did make a mistake in my initial review and like i said i'm not afraid to be called out on my bullshit and you know fix stuff and create it for you guys in the future so with that being said hope you guys enjoy like always hope you learned something hope this kind of made you appreciate or actually think about neutron 3 again like i said i will leave links in the description below where you can go copy a uh, copy yourself like i said if you have a if you already own neutron 2 or neutron 1 you get a very lovely discount to get Neutron 3. And if you don't own it, I would definitely suggest clicking a link. I'll link it to Plugin Boutique. They always have the lowest prices for this type of thing. And they usually go on sale a lot too. So I would definitely, you know, go check them out to get your plugin. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy like always. I know who it is, your boy Slint, aka Mr. Different, not motivated by the money. Put the like, comment, subscribe, and views. And hope this guys help you out. Catch you guys in next video. Have a good one, everybody.